My father once told me that if you get more than 50% of the things that you do right, then you're a pass mark. And I think they've done a hell of a lot more than 50% of the things that they do right. I think they were in their 20s when I first met them, but it's just amazing how that they, over the last sort of 10 or 15 years, have grown from guys flipping burgers now to guys flicking properties of 10 and 15 and 20 million dollars, so they've done incredibly well. They have had some hurdles to jump, uh, and I think it took them a while to be accepted, um, both by the development community, but also by Wellingtonians. But I think they've re reached a maturity now, particularly with some of the work they do uh, in their property development, but also in um, the Exodus Gym and what they give back to the community, that they're now seen as uh, great Wellingtonians. John and Michael are very driven um, as far as all of their business pursuits are concerned. Uh, they do expect uh, everyone to work uh, fairly hard, but uh, they certainly reward people that uh, do so. In 1999, John and Michael Chow formed OEC Limited, later to become Chow Group. But the story really begins in Hong Kong in the 70s, where the brothers were brought up with their sisters Jenny and Vicky. Life changed markedly for the family in 1984, when they migrated to New Zealand and settled in Lower Hutt. Being migrants and having English as a second language made these early years challenging. It, it wasn't easy. It just makes us work harder. It just makes us more determined. I think that has definitely helped to make us better business people. In 1997, the brothers took over their parents' Tongsheng Takeaway, where they'd worked on many a weekend. They renamed it J&M Fast Foods and quickly demonstrated entrepreneurial flair as opportunities to add value and provide better service were found and implemented. Within three years, they'd doubled the size of the business and bought their first property on Courtney Place for a million dollars. Brothers John and Michael are Chow Group's majority shareholders. The secret of their success is hard work, brotherhood and calculated risk-taking. Brotherhood is about the bond between us. It's a level of trust and commitment that will never be broken. The only family can have. I believe John and Michael have been successful because they actually work very, very hard. Uh, they take managed risks, but they then run those risks and work hard personally doing it. I think John and Michael understand the, the, the true meaning of commerce, which is cash flow. And uh, when, once you've got a cash flow business, then that will have the, uh, the income and the security for them to, to take on other challenges. I think that's one of the hallmarks of their success. They're prepared to take risks, but not prepared to take uncalculated risks. Part of their philosophy when calculating risk is to see how they can add value either to their property purchase, development or new service. They're not afraid to look beyond New Zealand for new trends and opportunities. The Exodus Gym is a prime example. The purchase of a property in Tory Street meant they needed a tenant. Having also seen a gap in the market for a new style of gym, the answer was obvious. We tend to be uh, more of an upmarket gym. We offer some fantastic equipment. Yeah, John and Michael did take a risk when they uh, put together the concept. I certainly wouldn't have thought Wellington was ready for that type of uh, concept, but they put something together and it certainly has worked. Using this philosophy, they've grown Chow Group to a $100 million portfolio, consisting of three main elements, Exodus Gym, Adult Entertainment, and Property Investment. The property portfolio is spread over a variety of sectors, including the top of Tory Complex and 75 Victoria Street, opposite Sky City Casino in central Auckland. While John and Michael have a simple philosophy on their success, others have their own opinions. The, the harder you work, the luckier you are, and a lot of it comes down to that. And I think that they do have well thought out strategies and they've got plans. They're focused on long term ownership, 10, 15, 20 years on property. And I think that has a lot to play with it. So they're after a long term solution, not a short term fix. Any business which is providing a service which they believe is currently not being done very well, they then look at and then say, can we provide a better level of service? You know, it's, it really came about with um, nothing more than, than you know, innovation, hard work and, and, and a willingness to take risks. So um, I think the environment in, in Wellington is quite conducive to that as well, and, and particularly New Zealand. Both brothers are involved in property investment, with John overseeing the gym and Michael adult entertainment. Sisters Vicky and Jenny are also part of the management team. The family concept is extended to all who come under Chow Group's umbrella. 
I do in a way because I've now become quite friendly with um, their sisters, Vicky and, and uh, Jenny as well. And uh, Michael and John, you feel like you are sort of bought within their sort of code of silence. You generally find that um, they work seamlessly as a family and I think that um, that the trust and loyalty that they have with um, each other as a family extends um, to the clients and the way we, the way in which we deal with them as well. Chow Group gives back to the community through Exodus Gym by sponsoring Team Wellington, the Firebirds and the Saints. They sponsor us because they want to be part of the community. They want to see that they're fertilising the ground in which they're growing in. The Exodus sponsorship, that's enabled us to be a very strong part of the sporting programme in New Zealand. It uh, helps to grow basketball nationwide and obviously win championships. While some might say they have succeeded, John and Michael say they've only just begun. Their goal is to grow Chow Group to $1 billion by 2020. What we have done so far is good but that is only the start. Until now, it's about learning and positioning. So what do those that know them think of John and Michael's likelihood of achieving these hefty goals? Well, it started off with one small little takeaway business and then grew to one building, two buildings, three buildings, hotels, residential, all sorts of things. So I think that um, they're very competitive by nature, so I think they're going to continue to grow until they choose to stop. I think that they've risen to the top by hard work, honesty and integrity. You look at what they've achieved in the past, you know, 15, 20 years, and I'd say um, take that and um, it could be tenfold. The sky's the limit for those guys.